let's talk about five ways that you can ruin a wholesale deal. That's the beautiful topic of today. We have taken a few elements that can definitely cause you to lose your deal, ruin the deal, blow the deal, and create a little bit of a train wreck situation. Into I'm Dustin. I'm Corey. We're the Wholesale Daily Show, bringing you wholesaling, fixing and flipping, virtual real estate investing information, five days per week. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love the support and the thumbs up. Only if you feel that uh, you, know, you like the content. If you don't, then I don't imagine you made it this far. <laughs> yeah, or if you think we're cute too. That's true. Yeah, that's true. All right. So this is a this is a fun topic because anybody that is in wholesaling or that is new to wholesaling, you're going to come up against a lot of boundaries and barriers that are going to hold you back. Mm -hmm. And once again, if you don't know what you don't know. And when you're in these situations, you're going to lose deals very quickly. And one of the biggest things that is going to cause you to lose deals is lack of proper follow-up, okay? So you've put in all of this effort to find a deal. You've spent some money on postcards or you've been door knocking, um, uh, what do you call it, driving for dollars, things like that. And finally somebody calls you and maybe you miss the call and it goes to your voice message. Well, from there, you need to be super adamant on getting them back on the phone to get the deal closed. And we're talking everything. You want to you want to call them, you want to text them, you want to email them, and you want to do that three or four times in the first few days. I think we follow up was it 12 times in the first four days. Yeah. So we're following up from the time a lead comes in for us we are following up 12 times in the first four days. And we're doing that through phone calls, through text messaging, through email, whatever means that we have. And you kind of have to remember that people are busy. It's like A, people are busy, and if they're a distressed homeowner, there can be a whole myriad of things that are going wrong mm -hmm. with, with this personal, the person's personal life. Um, you know, maybe their cell phone has died and they don't have a landline, or maybe they're at work, or maybe they've been on a bender for the last few weeks, which definitely happens all the time. Um, the second thing that can blow your deal, you can ruin it fast, is using the wrong contract. As I've mentioned in previous stories, I've when I first got into this, I used the wrong contract and I had to go and get the seller and the buyer to redo contracts and it created a huge amount of stress. And lucky for you, watching the video, at the end we go and give you a free copy of our contract that we spent over a thousand bucks on getting our lawyer to look at it. Now, we're not saying use this exactly, but it's a great starting point to have one of your local real estate attorneys look over, mm -hmm. either give you the thumbs up or make a few modifications to. So, the right contract is key. Second or third one on our list today is you want to make sure that you get the right comps, that you're not miscomping um, the property. If you're you're way too high and you go into this thing, you think you're getting a great deal, and you get it under contract, and then you start marketing the contract, and from there nobody starts biting on it because you screwed up on your comps. So Learning the comps is very important, figuring out kind of the average price per square foot, the top of the market, taking into consideration how much you need to do. We have three comp ranges. Um, what is it? It's light rehab, medium rehab, heavy rehab. Yeah. So we're always asking. We try to get a, before we throw a ballpark figure out over the phone, we like to ask, all right, what type of repairs do you think the property needs? And then from there, we kind of get into our comp range and we've kind of taken it a step further and we've actually built 
a little evaluator that crunches all the data for us, pulls in data from multiple sites, and gives us a valuation range so that we have it lickety split. Now, yeah. someday we may share that, but currently we're testing it and tweaking it. It yeah. works pretty good. Yeah. Uh, next thing that can totally ruin a deal is sketchy buyers. Um, people that don't know what they're doing or people that are looking to get a string of wholesale deals, meaning like you get it under contract, somebody gets you under contract, they get someone else under contract, and the string goes down the line. Closing day happens and people can't pull the trigger, the whole thing falls apart mm -hmm. and you end up looking really bad. So in our contract, they actually have to disclose if there is another, um, if they're wholesaling it. And secondly, we take a earnest deposit of two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 to make sure that they're um, willing to play the game and we make that uh, non-refundable. Now, here's one of the last ones that can really ruin your deal and it's overlooked a lot and that is multiple people on title for the property one of the first things that we do when a lead comes in is we cross-reference it with the uh, recorder's office at the county just going to the county website and typing it in because we want to make sure that whoever the person who says they're on title is actually on title because you'd be surprised how many people out there will try to sell a house mm -hmm. and sneak one past you and their their ex-wife is still on the on the title. So yeah. that's one of the questions we always ask is, um, is it just yourself on title or do you have a wife or a spouse or family member that you are on title with? And the other thing we do is when we go do a home inspection, we ask, all right, will A, the people on title be there and B, will the decision makers be at the property because you don't want to waste time and go just driving around looking at property you write an offer and like oh I need to check with my wife or my brother or my father blah 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 um, you want to be very clear that is there any reason you won't be able to make a yes or no decision if we come yep. and that can really suck yep we've had many people even say you know they lie to us and we go and like Oh, my wife's not here. Well, yeah. you said she'd be here, but if it's a good deal, yeah. you're gonna chase it down. We make it happen. We're Dude. gonna make it happen. We're yeah. going to make it happen. So, yeah. those are uh, five simple ways that you can have a deal get ruined. And if you are aware of them, you can start to change them and really try to step up your game in wholesaling. And it's just like the reiteration of all these basic things mm. over and over again. And basically. Ask yourself where you want to be with wholesaling or real estate. You want to be down here. Where are you now? So that means there's a gap in the information you have because if you had the right information, you'd be executing on it effectively and not needing this type of information. So <laughs> that's always a good gap or gap question to ask yourself is where do I want to be versus where I am. Take a lay of the land and then figure out, all right, what am I missing? And that's uh, not help. So um, as a gift for watching our videos right now, we're giving away our wholesale contract that we uh, had our lawyer help us make. Spent some good money making this thing and it's a great starting point for you to look at. A lot of people might use a shorter contract, but this one is very um, thorough and works well for us. So if you want to get a copy of this, our gift for saying thanks for watching, uh, where's the link card? Uh, so the link will be in the description. If you don't see it yet, just sh put a comment in and we'll all send it to you with, from our email address. Mm -hmm. so. And you can uh, check it out, get a head start there. So thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.